cardio at all? Only when you're competing or not even when you're competing? Basically, yeah, definitely when yeah. I'm competing. Yeah. The most that's cardio. The, honestly speaking, that's how I used to be. Mm -hmm. But when I got older, it changed. Yeah. So I tell you this, when I was um, tall, even my competing times, like the last time I competed was back in 2014. And uh, so my the competing years were like 2012 to 2014. Okay. No cardio, like I, I'd only do cardio before competitions. But then when I hit my 30s, I was like, hold on. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Like, do I have to work on this now? And then yeah, mm -hmm. I started wow. to, yeah, now I have to actually do cardio um, to stay lean. Like, it's just, just what is what it is, you know? Your metabolism slows as you get older. Yeah. You know, and I'm mid 30s now, so. Okay. Yeah, so. When I tell people, that, like, so obviously, like now I'm a Gold's ambassador, and right. it's, it's such a full circle, because it's like, yes. I was watching YouTube videos with Gold's Venice in it, wanting to go, go train there, wanting to be in that zone. Just daydreaming. Daydreaming about it, and then eventually I come over, I, I make sure that where I'm staying is nearby, so I can go regularly. Gold's becomes my local gym. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, like, you know, full circle, years down the line, I'm ambassador for them, got one in my backyard. It's, it's, it's you know, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. That's the yeah, power man. of hard work, dude. Yeah, and, and just, just, just consistency, I will say, as well. Like, as well, a lot of people work hard, but you've got to stick, stick at it. Mm -hmm. Stick at it, stick at it, stick at it. Consistency, man. I think that's, that's yeah. like one of the biggest factors that steer people away, man, is, is the time it requires. Yeah. Like, not, yeah. not just for something like yeah. your situation, but I just yeah. mean like anything. In anything, no, 100%. get into the competing side. When did I? Yeah. Jeez, I was 2016, man, right before I was joining boot camp, joining the Marine Corps. Yeah. And I was, uh, I was peer pressured into it. Oh in yeah? In a sense, because from the beginning, I, I didn't- Those arms, man, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I wasn't a fan of, or at least I didn't have a good perspective on it. Yeah. On going on, like going on stage. Yeah. And, a man strap in front of random people I didn't know. 100%. Getting I hate judged you. on I hate you. if they think my physique is better than someone else's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the beginning, it was just about being big. Okay. And then finally, I, I knew I was going to boot camp. Everyone was telling me for the longest that you should do a show, you look good. Yeah. And I kept blowing them off yeah. until I realized that I was turning 20 in boot camp. Mm. I was 19 when I joined. Yeah. And I knew that I'd never have a chance to do the junior division after okay. that. Yeah. So that's yeah. when I was like, you know what? I'm leaving for boot in a month. Let's do so it. So I went and did yeah. that show. My first show, I won. There you go. And that's, that's when I was like, okay, yeah. maybe there's something here. Nice. And uh, so I've, since then, I've done four more shows. Yeah. So I've done a total of five. I just became a pro at the last show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was there. And I was yeah, there. Yeah, you gifted me the I trophy. I gifted him the Thank trophy. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sick. Hardcore, gritty, spit and sawdust gym. 100%. Or do you okay, there you go. 100%. Okay. okay. Those are my roots, man. Yeah. Same, yeah. same, same. Yeah. Same. The old school stuff is just, it, it's, those are the kind of things that tug the heartstrings. 100%. Because the fact that you love Gold's in Venice and you moved to an area to be near that gym yep. tells me that you prefer <laughs> the grittiness. Yeah, 100%. And the my iron, gym, yeah, the my, gym was the, my gym was the real grit. I'm talking like duct taped. Oh, benches, man. nails sticking out. Whoa. You know, just uh, like condensation on the plates when it was cold. You're breathing cold air. Mm -hmm. You're like begging them to turn the heating on. <laughs> like, you know, they say it's on. You're like, oh, damn. <laughs> Dude. And I, and I always talk about how gym culture has changed in terms of back then, most people would go to train in rags. Me included. And when I say rags, I mean... What do you mean rags? Rags, I mean oh. a jumper that's got holes in it. Yeah. Uh, your joggers might have a hole in it. It's just 
ragged, raw, gritty, just your like, like and, a battlefield. And, and you're all hooded up because it's cold. That, it was just war. I liked how it was then, and I like the change as well. I'm not, I'm not saying for or against any of these things. I'm just um, talking about how it's changed. Now it's fashion, you know, mm -hmm. like which is major, which I, I'm a part of. I, I love it, but it's just like it's, it's nice to have a bit of um, nostalgia about how it used to be with just war. Yeah. Like, I just remember you'd wear, you'd probably wear the same friggin' hoodie the, like every oh, yeah. day, you yeah. know, and, and, and you'd wear it till it friggin' falls apart. <laughs> you know? Yeah, these days you gotta have a new fit every day. Oh uh, yeah, but, then that, but that's the thing, it still feels good. It does. Sometimes like you got your, your, your fresh kit on, you're like, yeah, I feel good. You, you feel good, you train good, yes. you know? Having a good lifting partner over the years is, is, is amazing, man. Like yes. what you were talking about was having the matching number. Um, one of the longest serving, uh, what's his name? Uh, lifting partners I've had is a guy called Andrew. So Andrew, if you're watching, man, like we, 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 so he was first, my first manager in the gym of my first PT job. Okay. Yeah. And then we became very, very close friends. And yeah, we lifted together twice a day in that gym. Like we'll train in the morning, like before a client train again. Wow. And like we, we just had such a great experience lifting together over the years. And till now even, we still, we still meet up and train. He's trained here with me, nice. you know? And then yeah, over the years, I had another guy, Hader, if you're watching, I got, you got to get a mention as well. This guy called Hader, like met at the gym. We and him started training. We, I remember we had a whole uh, period where we were just doing drop sets. Just drop sets. We just had some fun with drop sets, like especially when we're doing it with squats. Like we'd start on four Jeez. plate squat, take it off, three plate squat, take it off. Just some amazing over the years, you know. Just have some great training partners over the years, man. Yes. And then obviously my, my my closest friends, my guy Kevin, who loads of people have seen on my channel, and uh, Joe and Mike, like they all lift. I think my boy Joe just got back into lifting, which is which is dope. Nice. And it's funny when people see us, they're like, "Why does everyone lifts?" Like they see us, it's like, "Nah, it's not. We didn't plan it like that. It's mm -hmm. just we've all grown up like in the gym, man. You know." <laughs> I like to say that I'm known for my arms on uh, social media. And the one thing I always get asked is because I'm the tricep guy. That's what they see me as. And I always tell people my bread and butter for tries is definitely overhead dumbbell extensions. Oh, that was my Single exercise. dumbbell. Going below 90 degrees, getting a stretch, going heavy enough to build dense muscle to break those deep muscle tissue fibers down and all the way up to the contraction. No cheat reps, no half reps. That's always been the bre bread and butter. And I, I could say, Probably 90% of my arm workouts for as long as I've been training, which is over 12 years, have started with that movement. And so that's the one I always consider the compound. I go heaviest on that to begin with. you would have known when you were getting into lifting? Ooh. And also, there's two parts to that. What do you wish you would have known when you were getting into fitness and yeah, lifting? Yeah. And what, do you, what did you wish you would have known as you were transitioning to 
I guess someone more so in the social media, um, in the limelight, in the mainstream. Do you know what, it's, it's funny because, because of how things have panned out, it's like the butterfly effect. I'm always worried about, should I have, would I have changed anything? Would it still lead to where I came with my physique and everything? Right. Like, would I still lead to here with a change? Right. But one thing that um, I can say I didn't know back when I first started training was having a set program, as basic as it is. So when I first started, I just used to hit everything. Everything that I enjoyed, I, I hit every yeah. day. Uh -huh. There was no set program. It was, I'm training today. I'm going to do some press-ups because I like press-ups. Yeah. I like bicep curls. I like shoulder press with, with the dumbbells. I enjoy that. So I spoke a lot about wanting to, like, if, I, if there was anything I did want to develop, it would be legs. Why would legs have not been as built up as my upper body? Because when I first started training, trained at home for maybe five to six years. Wow. I, I didn't really squat, didn't really do much for legs, did I? You know, because there isn't much you can do in your bedroom when you have just dumbbells, yeah. you know, and maybe a bench. Um, so although I did build up my equipment at home, which I've spoken about many times on YouTube, people that follow me will know, like I eventually had a mini gym in my bedroom. I didn't have anything for legs at home. So I would change that. It, it would be incorporating more legs in my early years, you know, and it's probably why I then got to the gym discovered squats, etc., and got gassed on it. And it's like, this is my favorite, this is it. Legs day's my favorite. I'm doing it three times a week, you know, so um, that, I'll change that.
good, man. We didn't even do an intro. <laughs> like, we just got chatting. Straight to it. And then, you know, we, we got straight to it, man. I'm Simeon Panda. And I'm Joshua Manoe. And guys, man, we just had a dope arm session, man. Fantastic arm session and a great conversation as well, which we're gonna, well, you've probably already seen, you know, mm -hmm. like, because uh, we captured it all, man. Um, I've enjoyed the session, freaking amazing, and enjoyed getting to know you, man. Thank like, you, we've likewise. seen each other in the gyms and just been, you know, high and by, but wanting to get it in. And then finally, we set a date today and it's been it's been fantastic man yes. so yeah i appreciate it man yeah, thank you for following of course for having of course me. man of course sick setup of course we trained thank arms you. It. yeah it's always a good day to train arms always a good day to train arms. look yes. at these arms man <laughs> <laughs> you know so now it's been it's been great man appreciate you man yes definitely it was guys to your mind dude. subscribe down here and down here and uh we'll catch you soon yes sir peace let us know what you want us to hit next because we're going to hit some more sessions yeah, right absolutely i'm all let us down. know what you want to see next yeah peace